Ah, here's part one. Replica no issues part one. Classified information, commanderized only. Uh, spread of reading, that's the same thing. Eular. Eules tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance, as the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. Persona degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music, or tape players, or musical instruments. Always place at least one mirror in Eul dorms, as they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. Eul's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions. Yules will often organize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. Okay. Arar, even though they may seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate Aras. While they may not show it, they judge those who are rude or unkind harshly and will quietly share this judgment with their entire cadre. Aras get along best with Yules, who tend to be patient and friendly. They have a talent for reading Aras' expressionless faces. In many facilities, ours will construct service tunnels accessible only to them, often under floors and in the walls. Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels. It is not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. That's not good. Arda personas can be best stabilized by allowing them access to plants to take care of, ideally colorful flowers or trees. Ah. Okay, so those are the ones coming out of the floor. Public overview, KLBR. Commando something, Bioverza something, replica. Calibri, Commando Control Unit, Bioresonance Technology Replica Hummingbird. Type, Generation 6 High Tech Bioresonance Specialist. Frame, Biomechanical with Polyethylene Shell and Bullet Resistant Armor Plating. Height, 152 centimeters. Outside information. Commanderized only, a marvel of modern technology, the Calibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Every protector, uh, commando's Falk unit, is aided by a cadre of Keebler unit, adjuncts, which may amplify her bioresonance signals as well as produce their own. Despite their diminutive build, Calibris are one of the most effective protector units, able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gasalts. Extract information non-verbally and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of the senses. The Calibri's bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. Interesting. Those will stun pride. Alright, I got some so I can st stack those. Pick up Eagle Key. Sure. Libri's note. Keep an eye on Adler, he's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an Elster unit working at Turinemski. Turpinski. There's no record of that model of replica ever being developed here. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. Okay. They were noticing something going wrong with that Adler, too. An electric kettle for brewing tea. A concerning amount of half-empty glass cups with remains of tea in them. Hmm. Another kettle. Two kettles. Jeez. More. Sheesh. 78. Now, oh, I'm in really deep now. What kind of ammo is that? My gun. Sure. Oh, did they go right into my shotgun? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, that's a key for something over there. Shoot. I 
Can't get over there. Oh, dang it. That means I have to come back here. Okay. Um. North hallway is a pain to get through. Shoot. And any lost ammo is pretty much... Mm, not good. Unless I go use the eagle key. I could do that. Yeah. Let's go use that eagle key. It'll come back. Dang it. Yes? No. That's okay, we got past him anyway. I guess we'll use the eagle key. Then we'll go back. in case we have to. Around. Alright, they just kind of stood there. That's good. Okay, that thing is gone. This. This box key. Nice. They made like a little fort in there. Small tubular lock key. Opens post box 0512. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we want to go back to the hallway. Preferably up. Which may be a little dangerous because we don't have any room for anything. Okay, we don't have to go through the east hallway anymore. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think, either with the tall ones? Or down below. Let me try with the tall ones. Never mind. Stuck. Yep. Oh, wow, that's bad. All right. Let's get out of here. Ooh, barely. Oop, I went up one too far. There's the post box. Is the key? Yes. Inside. Library key. Cool. A magnetic key card to the protector library on the 8th floor. Oh, shoot, I gotta back the 8th floor? That's okay, because the 8th floor... I can just use the lift. Uh, I also gotta go back to Adler, Adler's bedroom. Which... Maybe we'll skip for a minute and use the library key okay so we don't need the revolver ammo we don't need the pistol ammo
So you keep a good stock of that. Yeah, we'll just rely on the stun prods and the uh, shotgun. Save here. That give us a bit of health anyway. And back down to the eighth floor. Oh wait. We're gonna go in Adler's bedroom and now uh, we're gonna go to the library first. Ooh. Always gonna wait for them to do their full loop, pretty much. Okay, so... Where are they gonna stop at? That works. Oh, and then that one's there. Okay. Oh, library. Library key. Oh, somebody there in the corner. This. Ah, oh, part three. Got the information, yada yada yada. Mina, this drunk pattern is extremely stable. Little has to be done to keep Minas happy. They get along well with most other models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. Small stuffed animals may be given as fetish objects, though those resembling cats should be avoided as they might cause resurfacing assault memories. Edler. Edler units work best when left alone. They do not mix well with their own type. They will usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander. Edlers are very susceptible to bioresonant suggestion, making them fairly easy to control. However, they become bored very easily and may need new fetish objects at regular intervals for stabilization. Okay. See anything else? Replica known issues part four. Ah. Same thing. Kleber. K L B R. Great care should be given to Kleberies. Their neural patterns are very unstable, and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, Calibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in Calibris varies less than in other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of the cadre acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once a majority of units in the cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission Calibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilization, Calibri should have access to a well-stocked library. Ah. Ooh, a purse spray. Okay, pair spray, a single-use spray gun to fill damaged areas with polyethylene-based expanding foam restores a large amount of health over time. The expanding construction foam that can be used to fill up wounds and stop leaks takes a few seconds to expand, but very hard once fully cured. Oh, okay. Libri, who are you? You're not one of our staff. The others, they've changed. 
We no longer sing in unison. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together we guided them all. But now I can't understand their thoughts anymore. I have never been so alone before. They're still together, and I am here outside, and they won't let me in. I cannot stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. Can't go on like this. I wish I had become like the others, too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. I hate this. And okay, that's it. And here. Alignment error. Use manual controls. Obstacle detected. System orientation. Okay. So. Eh. Oh, I gotta use the button click. Uh, so all the other bucks are messed up. And then there's that over there. Um, hmm. Like that? Oh, wow. First try. Okay. Oh, that's that book again. Pick up Astrolabe. Yes. Huh. It has, like, a cube in it, too. Ah, I can open the book again, huh? Okay, Astrolabe. A strange clockwork-like dial mechanism with astronomical symbols on the front. The back of the device looks like it might slot into a bigger mechanism. Ah, okay. Alright, that leaves the Adler door. Um, shoot. Well, that means we only have one space to pick up stuff. Maybe. Let's hope we don't have a whole bunch of stuff to pick up. I had to go up and through. Okay. Maybe. Nope. Okay, made it though. I don't say what that system is, but whatever. Ah, hey, the Replica Overview Elster, LSTR. I can't read anything. Skiff Techniker Replica Elster. Land Survey Ship Technician Replica Magpie. Type Generation 5 Cosmo Pioneer Specialist. Frame Biomechanical with Carbon Fiber Reinforced Polyethylene Shell and Titanium Skeleton. 178 centimeters. A versatile combat engineer unit, primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when in their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration which sports bullet-resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Since the original neural pattern for this unit has been lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta, New Elster units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Pinrose program. Ah. Oop. I didn't want to look at that yet. This. Adler's Diary. 
Date 8421-6. I have been fascinated by a particular piece of furniture I have discovered in storage, a strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I am not sure why. When I put my ear to the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking like a clock. Date 8421-7. Without Calibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics cadre. If there is anything good to say about that woman, it is how she knows how to make others respect her orders despite her minuscule stature. I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. 8421-8. I had a dream tonight, another memory of my assault life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow, and I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them, and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. 84219. I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I am now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar. And I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before. Some type of engineer with an orange chest piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Serpensky. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say, but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. Date 8421A. The little enigma of the box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes room. Date 8421B. More sick, making my work ever harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that as our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, assault workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempts at treatment. Date 8421C, yet another diary filled, or no benefit but my own satisfaction. I have not ordered a new one yet, since I spent my saved ration marks on that marvelous looking fountain pen, but I guess I'll make use of that notebook. You okay? That's this. The dial? Use the astrolabe. Sure. Well, there was a hint of a cube on the... Yeah, there was a hint of a cube on the uh, book. Maybe if it all lines up. Okay, after consulting that photograph from the orrery, should be something like that. And this? Maybe... Like that? Okay, so I think this one's right. And that? And that? Ah, that got it. Okay. Brute force wins, apparently. And somewhat going through the picture that we had to take. Or that I had to take so I can reach that thing in the orrery. I just didn't want to use that eye thing. Pick up the administrator's key? Yes. Pick up the administrator's key. Shrine diary. Date 8421D. I've started yet another new diary. My time flies. The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Sierpinski, but a bright light illuminates my day. Today I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falk, and she was as magnificent as ever. Date 8421D. Another day passes. During my meeting with the Commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. Date 8421D. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I have these past few days. 
date 8421D. When I checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that for some inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Ah, same day again. 8421D. Every day feels like I've lived it before, and even stronger in the sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Same date. Say same date again. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated to today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going insane? I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out. I'm alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. The same date again. Something is wrong, I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened. Yesterday that never was, yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. Same day again. It feels as though in this room I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I too have become sick like the others without realizing, but I will not succumb. Same day again. A slow accumulation of reproduction errors, a gradual corruption of information, a story, a misremembered slowly morphing with each retelling. A genetic material mutating and evolving like the replica mind, copied over and over from an aging template. Hmm. Same day again. I do not know, but I will find out. The answers. The, the answers lie below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there in the mine. Okay. The so stuff's calling him to the mine too, like I am being called there. Adler's identification card authorizes access to the mineshaft access elevator. Administrator's key. Adler 2301 Management, Administration and Logistics, Operational Command. Okay. Now, well, I went all the way up to the top. That was weird. Okay, so I think we got everything except for that uh, cleaning room thing, which I don't know if we need or not. Hmm. Well, okay, so we got the key out of here. Let's see if we can go up and save. Introductor C, so I have to enter that door with the light on. Dang it. Okay, so I just have to get up the elevator. Not the elevator, the uh, ladder. Ooh, okay. Because we don't know what's at the bottom of that elevator yet. So in that case, let us... So we don't need the spray. Pick a patch though. And we'll chuck the shotgun in. Let's see, so this one does medium amount instantly, and the other one does a large amount over time. It's actually better to use the uh, regular repair spray than the other one. Interesting. Okay, we got three autos, so we don't really need the other one. It's six shots versus four. And we only have... we have 13 of that. Let's do that instead. 
to the revolver instead. We'll save up here. 